10 steps to the holding a luncheon. You got to target a date. Why do you think that's the first one? Here's what happened to me. I'm working with an e-myth coach. I'm telling her I'm going to have a lunch. She says, okay, next month we have a call again. I'm going to have a lunch. Okay, good. Next month, <laughs> going to have a lunch. She said, set a date. Once I have set a date, what happens? You got to build up to that date. You got to scramble. You got to get everything else. You got to get people's, you know, notified you're having a luncheon. You got to get your postcards. That's what happened, okay? So target a date. I put that down first because I want that stake in the ground. I want that stake in the ground. Target a location next. You want someplace close to them. Like Kevin talked about downtown metropolitan area, my students haven't had luck with that. You know, and if you're living in a big city like New York, yeah, you're going to have it down there someplace. But you want to you get as close to where they're living, the residential um, area you can. Target the lender. Buy a list from a list broker if you've got the okay to advertise. You know, here your lender could be family, friends, and associates, right? And that's the very first luncheon I want you to have. It's the cheapest and best luncheon we ever had. And we got tons of money and tons of referrals. Create a credibility kit. Create a presentation. Create pictures of the properties. You're welcome to use My Ugly Houses from Springfield, but I recommend you use other houses in your own area. All right? Or strip malls or whatever you got. You don't have to create a presentation. You got mine done, but you will have to practice. Uh, design and mail postcards, well, you, got the, you just have to mail them because you got them done, and the newspaper ads. So those are the 10 steps if you're, looking for, if you're in the NFL club.